Oh, oh, hey, Optimus, I've been meaning to ask you, what am I reviewing today? I I, I got no idea, man. I, I really need to know, what am I reviewing today, dude? One second. You like it? Uh, where'd you get this? No idea. Okay, I, I guess I'm reviewing this. What is it, a, a movie realization stormtrooper? Whoa, it's so cool. Wait, wait a s- Wait, this- this smells like a knockoff. What are you doing to me, Prime? What is this? What is this, some sort of trick? Is this some sort of trick, Prime? Well, well, let's let's actually talk about this thing. Uh, yeah, this is the movie realization stormtrooper, the uh, Ash Ashi Ashigaru. You can see it right there, Ashigaru stormtrooper, uh, based off of a feudal Japan type stormtrooper, and yeah, it's a knockoff. It's a knockoff. Uh, I got this for under 20 bucks from Ally Express, and yeah, it's it's a knockoff. Is it a good knockoff? Is it a bad knockoff? Is it a knocky knocky off off? I don't know. Uh, actually, I do know. Um, the answer is it's actually a pretty good knockoff. Uh, this is this is actually really nicely built. I only have two issues with this figure. Uh, not the paint, not the sculpt, none of that. Just just two issues with this figure, and I'm I'm gonna get him out of the way right now. Number one, his feet are a little loose. His feet are a little loose, and number two, his hands don't stay on easily. That's it. Those are, those are the only problems. That's it. Other than that, all the joints are nice and tight, nice and good right out of the box. The paint is really good. The sculpt is good. The molding is preserved from the original. I don't have the original to show you or compare it to. However, yeah, th this is a really, really good figure. And for under 20 bucks, I, I gotta recommend one of these knockoff uh, movie realization stormtroopers. Or they also have the Sand Trooper, Royal Guard, Darth Vader, Boba Fett. You can get any of those for under 20 bucks. I decided to get the stormtrooper. Uh, I want to show off the box here real quick though because I just want to show off that this box is identical it is straight up illegal going on here with Tamashii Nations and Bandai uh, it's a very nice package it even has Disney right there jeez uh, you can see the other figures available on the back yeah th this is a really good figure and uh, for a knockoff it's really nice it's it's packaged nicely too opening this up you can see it's all nice in there and even has a little write up right there that's pretty cute but I don't really go over packages in my videos I typically go over the figures themselves so so the figure we're looking at here is really, really nice. It's it's just nice. It's just really nice. The only paint issue I'm finding is a little scuff right there. That's it. All the rest, uh, all the little yellow markings on him are nicely aligned and painted. The weathering and wash is good on him. The black paint is nice and solid. Overall, I got no complaints with the paint. I've I've studied the look of this guy, and I've got no issues with the paint application on him. Uh, the accessories are also very nice. Uh, he does have uh, an E11 that doesn't make much sense because it's supposed to be like feudal Japan and I don't think they had guns back then. But yeah, he's got an E11. He also has a more historically accurate sword, being a, well, a katana. Uh, you can get it out of this, and so far, uh, this is the first time I've removed it and I'm not really seeing many paint scratches. Seems pretty good. Also, the, uh, the sheath is nice and tight in the belt there. It is removable if you want him to hold it. But other than that, it's uh, it's nice. The accessories are pretty good. Alternate hand time, he has two trigger finger hands per each side. He has more gripping hands per each side. He has tighter gripping hands per each side, and he has fists for each side. With the accessories out of the way, let's look at the articulation and see if there's any issues with this. The head seems to be on a double ball peg, and it's moving nice and tightly. It's, it's a satisfying ball peg. And it also does have this little flap right here to cover up the neck armor. The shoulder pads are on a nice tight ball joint that don't really seem to be popping off. Uh, he has a butterfly joint at the shoulder there. Also has shoulder joint, also has bicep swivel. The hands, yet again, they pop off if you uh, aren't careful with it. Very tight uh, elbow swivel, I'd be a little careful with that. Double jointed elbows and the wrists are on a swivel hinge. So, like, the hinge can bend and also swivel to whatever direction you want. And the wrists themselves are on a ball peg that don't really like staying on. Uh, I mean, they'll stay on. It's not like they're just going to fall off. But it, it's just a little bit of, a, of an issue. But it, it's, it's all right. Uh, torso, you can see that right there. The legs move out. They move forward. I don't believe they have that. Uh, I don't believe they have that slider down. Very nice knee joint. Of course, a knee swivel. And the feet, like I said, are loose. However, you can pivot them, you can do this, you can do that, whatever. It, it, it's a nicely articulated figure, and besides the hands falling off and the feet articulation being a little loose, it's very nicely constructed. 
This is a very nicely constructed figure. Uh, you can see the details on it. Uh, it's got a lot of nice details on it. I'm not going to go over it because you have eyes. You can see it. But yeah, th th this is a knockoff, guys. Uh, I, I would say it's pretty much on par with the real thing. Uh, if you want it, head over to Ally Express, get yourself one, because it's a really good figure. And besides this hand that I knocked into that, I, I knocked into it that time, so it's 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 okay. Yeah, I, it's it's good. It's good. It's really good. A uh, quick little review of this guy. I, I just like it. I like it a lot. It's a really nice figure. Uh, I'm not afraid to break it. The joints seem nice and tight on it. They seem nice tolerances. I can't really speak today, but I don't care. Some comparisons for you. Here's Optimus, the uh, the gentleman that brought it in. Black Series Stormtrooper, so you can see that it is more in like the 7, 8 inch scale. And a standard Stormtrooper figure available in stores right now, the 3 and quarter inch Rogue One one. So there you go guys, quick little review on this knockoff movie realization Stormtrooper. I'm really happy with this. It's just a really cool figure and it, it's a unique piece to the collection. I'm not sure if I'm going to get more, but... It's, it's nice to have, and it's a very nicely done knockoff. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the knockoff realization Stormtrooper. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my Facebook and Instagram pages if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys, and as always, may the Force be with you. Bye.